Steve, defeat of the Stoke Carras against Swansea City, a disappointing one to take? Yeah, I think so. Um, I think first half they obviously had a lot of possession and the way that we set up um, didn't really allow them to create many chances. Uh, they kept the ball a lot between their back two, uh, looked to work a few rotations, but on the whole, I was quite pleased with the with the way that we set up. We, uh, we you know, we restricted them to very little uh, in terms of chances. Liz didn't really have to make too many saves. Uh, we give a disappointing goal away, uh, but then you know the reaction was decent. Um, we get the goal, um, and then obviously second half, two poor set piece goals that we've given away, and you know we score, but it's a little bit too late. Um, you know, we have one real good chance at the end with Abby, but, you know, it's just not been our day, unfortunately. Is it frustrating when you feel that you've managed to string those phases of play together, particularly in that first half, and then you just haven't quite been able to come away with anything today? I think so, but, like, on the whole, I don't think we've performed anywhere near as what we did against Cardiff. I think we had longer periods in, in the game where we were, we were on top and we dominated. Uh, today... It was just short spells, really. You know, we need to sort of click together and get more momentum in games and, and get after teams a little bit. Um, but, you know, on the whole, uh, the performance I don't think was too bad. It was a much more improved performance than from last week's game against Britain Ferry. Uh, but, you know, we've got to move on now this week and get ready for Aberystwyth away next week. A first game at the Stoke Harass for your side this season. Is it always a special moment when you get to play football here, no matter the result? Yeah, of course it is. You know, it's 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 a great opportunity to come and showcase what the women's section are about um, at this fantastic venue. Um, it was great to sort of get the crowd behind you as well in, in the moments of the game. You know, made some noise and really gave the girls a little bit of a boost in the in the periods where we were on top. Um, yeah, so we're you know we're really grateful for playing here, um, and you know we're, we're hoping that we'll have some more opportunities coming towards the end of the season as well. Looking ahead to next weekend, how important is it now that you get that reaction, you get some points on the board and you get what you need? Yeah, it's huge because, you know, after three games, zero points doesn't look great. We won't panic, you know, we, we, we're we trusting what we're doing. Um, and, yeah, it's massive, you know, obviously Aberystwyth with having had the start to the season that they'd hope. Um, so, you know, we're not going to take them lightly and it's important that we go into that game with full of confidence and and obviously with the with the game plan to sort of go there and, and get three points. The Ox Steve. The Ox.